Hi, this is Andy again. Welcome to another Daily Scripture. Hope you're having a really great weekend. It's really nice and sunny down here, which makes me feel really good. Uh, today we're looking at uh, the book of John, and we're looking at chapter 7, verses 32 to 39, where it says, Up to that time the Spirit had not been given, since Jesus had not yet been glorified. And that's in verse 39. The Pharisees heard the crowd whispering such things about him. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees sent temple guards to arrest him. Jesus said, I am with you for only a short time, and then I am going to the one who sent me. You will look for me, but you will not find me, and where I am you cannot come. The Jews said to one another, Where does this man intend to go that we cannot find him? Will he go to our people, live scattered amongst the Greeks, and teach the Greeks? What did he mean when he said, You will look for me, but you will not find me, and where I am you cannot come? On the last and greatest day of the festival, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within him. By this he meant the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Up to that time the Spirit had not yet been given, because Christ had not yet been glorified. As we reflect on another passage, let's look at another puzzling paradox. Many times in the Old Testament we see evidence of the Holy Spirit at work. What then does the scripture mean when it says that the Spirit will not be given until Jesus' glorification? The answer is, of course, that although the Spirit is at work in the world prior to the coming of Christ, he was not fully active because there was no perfect vehicle through whom he could reveal himself. When once he achieved a particular purpose, the Holy Spirit returned to heaven, waiting, as did the dove in Noah's time, for a point and a place on which he could not only rest, but remain. Well, as we draw our thoughts together now, just going to close in prayer. O oh, Father, I am so thankful that I am living in an age of the Spirit, where He is with me always. Thank you, Father. Amen.